Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So, nothing to do with cars, again, we're still in lockdown in the UK, so I've been doing a lot of these little jobs. Um, you've seen the one I've done preparing the lights on my bricks, um, and you most likely have seen the control box that's at the back, which I will show you later on anyway. But on that video, I've showed you at some point throughout the video, that light that was installed um, the light it was not to stay like this uh, which you will see in the end uh, that is not to stay well it is to stay here but not exactly like this it is now because of this I will show you in the, in, in the end what this is for but it's basically a fountain that light is going to stay behind the fountain and the fountain has a pump to circulate the water so that three core wire in there is no good anymore I'm going to have to pull that out and I already have a four core, already have a four core wire. So it's going to be obviously a hearth, ground, and then two switched uh, voltage, one for the light, one for the pump. The pump is a 220 volts uh, small pump. Everything is going to be controlled from that app on my phone that I've already show you, showed you on the other video, but I will show you on this video as well. So, but. But what I want to show you really is just the connections, how everything's going to go. I have a junction box to put in there. It's a used junction box that was here when I moved into this house for something else. Uh, it has a three holes in there already, three uh, openings, which is actually going to be uh, just what we need because we're going to need one for the cable that comes from the box behind me. Then we're going to need one coming out for the light and one coming out for the pump. So I'll show you in the end uh, how it's going to look. So I've done all these bits already. Uh, that's where the fountain is going to go on top of those bricks. And all this where this uh, membrane is, is to fill with uh, pebbles or similar. Uh, Missus just went to buy them. I don't care what she's going to buy. She can put whatever she wants in there. But that's what's going to be. So we're going to have to pull that out, pull that core, that cable out. And obviously when I pull that one out, I will pull this one through again, uh, get this box in there as well. So it's going to go, get things done. Okay, so we took this off and now I got some silicone here so nothing would get into the tube. We're going to have to pull this out. Oh, I need to disconnect this on the box. That's going to go do it. There it is. I have, my, I have my other phone charging because I was actually to record with the other phone. But the battery is flat, so this is the cable that comes from over there. So we're gonna have to take. The hurt. We're gonna have to take. Voltage. Actually, let me take the fuse. Open that. Actually. the ground I've also got uh, for you guys interested I also got new cable identifiers these little things because when I put that light I didn't put anything on the wires because I didn't have them here they weren't on the van but I have them here now and we're gonna proper remove everything and put proper numbers again on everything and update the diagram for this so one day I know exactly what I've done okay so we're gonna drag this now pull this on the other end obviously and pull the four core here okay and the junction box is already prepared uh, nothing too fancy I was actually to do a DIN rail on this to put DIN rail connectors but the box is not tall enough so I've just done it like this. So the cable will come in here, ground, then obviously, sorry, uh, hearth, then obviously hearth for the other two, and then uh, the the ground and the two switches. I will show you how everything is going to be connected in the end, but you're going to see everything makes sense. Okay, and the box is already connected, as you can see. So this is the cable that comes from the control box, which we're gonna connect now, because all here is connected. 
So as you can see, the ground comes here, then the other ground will connect here. Then we have the ground here, that's going to be obviously for both. And then we're going to have the switched um, uh, voltage for the either the light in the fountain or the light in the fountain. Never mind. It. Either either way, it will do. Okay, I do apologize for the noise. The neighbor is cutting the grass. But as I said, we're going to mark these wires we put last time. That comes. I didn't show you this. That comes to here. As you can see, these wires are now marked. Everything else is. So we're going to mark these wires here. Uh, and then uh, we're going to move on. So I'm going to put some numbers, put the new wires. I'll take you through everything. No worries. Okay. And we started already to mark some other stuff. So 1D is going to be the ground. That's going to go... Now the ground, the earth, that's going to go into the box. Okay. So. Now we're going to go to that box that I'm going to name JBF for Junction Box Fontaine. Just for no, no really other reason. So 1D, let's going to mark this up. Okay, not very good, but I know what it is, 1D. Then the ground is going to be... dirty. That's going to be a 3, that's going to be a 4. D. I'm going to make a 3. D in there. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. So all marked up. So I know exactly where they come from. Now let's gonna mark everything else on the other box. Okay, uh, all completed here. So 1D is the earth to the other box. 2D, the negative. Then 3D, which most likely is gonna be my lights. And then 4D, the fountain. Now the feed to here comes from number eight, sorry, number six. Let me actually zoom this a little bit. So it comes from number six. Number six comes from the relay, which is the normally open. The relay I said I would use, this one here. So it's right there. Then the feed to here comes from number eight, which comes from this rail here of 220. So number eight, which is my JBF Fontaine. Okay, all connected, so ready to close the box. So the white one comes back to the light, even though I want to change the light. I want it, I want the light right in the corner, but for now we'll stay there. The black wire comes to the, to the pump. So that's ready to be closed and moving to the next step. Okay, just before I show you the hand result, we're gonna have to uh, program the PLC uh, because I don't have a button for that. Um, I can't remember the IP of the PLC, so I had to log in into my router. So we're gonna get all that done and then I will show you everything working. Okay, button is now in place, uh, it's all done. I still have the fuse open, but let's just try it. So, open the app. Now, I don't want step lights, I want that. Now, I already put a button in there for fountain. I'm gonna press it. There we go. So, I'm, I'm happy to try. Let's close the fuse. And now, I'm gonna show you the end result.
And that's it guys. All done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope there's something you have learned. If you have any questions, any comments, put them below and like always. Thank you for watching.